Hi loves! Welcome to my channel, This Mama Loves Disney. Okay, so this um, video is going to be a entry for the Let's Make Waves um, challenge, who is hosted by Carmen, and Carmen's YouTube channel is called Happy Day Crafts. Hey Carmen! And so um, I will link her video down below for her challenge. Um, I believe her challenge ends um, on September 30, 30th. And, um, and so this is what she was asking for. Um, she was asking for a mermaid tail and a tassel. And um, oh, this is the mermaid tail that I created for her. I don't know if you guys could see that. I um, kind of made a big bow. <laughs> so that's the mermaid tail. And she has specific measurements that she wants the mermaid tail to be. So the way I created this is I used Timmy's ink, alcohol inks. And I went ahead and I inked the backs first. I did like purple, a turquoise blue, um, a fuchsia. I did some orange. Um, it's hard to see, but in there, there's some green as well, and there's yellow, and so, and I just followed it down, and then I ended up using um, um, a wood stamp that was gifted to me by Alicia, my crafty hoplop. Hey, Alicia! And um, so I went ahead and stamped the mermaid tail, wave, like not waves, but the little mermaid tail uh, print. And then I just ended up making a sequence mixed that I thought was pretty that would match this. And then um, I ended up getting some little seashells that were in my stash. And then I went ahead and just glued on here some little pearls. Um, I have these little dolphin beads that were also in my stash. And then I had an image that I was going to put on here with Ariel. And um, it was just too big. So I decided to go with these little buttons. You have Ariel, you have um, Flounder, and Sebastian. And then I have one of these little charms that I had created. So it just has a little seashell on there. So I just went ahead and added that. And then I added um, this bow that looks like um, netting. Um, and I thought it just ended up giving it a perfect touch. It's kind of big, but you know what? I think bigger is better, so I just went with it. So I did do that. Um, I used on this one a lot of different trims that were in my stash, and I try to use all different colors so they would kind of go with the background of this mermaid tail. Um, so what I did is um, I went ahead and I have a little bottle cap. Well, it's kind of like a bottle cap, I guess you would consider. And I went ahead and put a little mermaid tail that was also gifted to me. And then um, I had some little shells that were in my stash. I added those. Um, I also added one of these little bows that were in my stash that um, just match perfect. I used um, a gold, gold clasp on here and then some more gold pieces to attach everything. And what I did is I got one of these strands and I just wrapped it all the way around and just kind of went downwards. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see if I could hold it up. So I just kind of wrapped it like this so it hangs. It hangs like this. Okay, and then on here on the little pieces I have right here is a little seashell that I ended up um, adding, adding some um, gilding wax to. So I have a green seashell, I have a yellow seashell, and then I have right here a starfish that I added gilding um, paste to, and then, or wax, and then he just kind of got lost in here, but I also have a little seahorse that's inside here. So yeah, so the, oh, and then I just made a little bag topper right here with some more um, little pieces that were gifted to me from Alicia. She had sent me a really cute little um, gift, um, blessings I would say, of different mermaid little elements. So I added these to here as well. So that is my entry. I want to say thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys all on the next video. Bye guys!